Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Grim Legacy Challenge. I feel like we start lots of episodes sitting at this table, and uh, this time it's Arthur looking quite... Wait, what did he just do? Did he just turn the music on? Dude, it's 6 a.m. No, you can't. Bad child. Whoa, that is broken. Um, husband-to-be, come repair this, please, and thank you. Um, welcome to another episode. Uh, it's been a couple of days. I, I can't quite remember where exactly we are um but apparently it's 6 a.m and uh everybody's really tired he's hungry she's kind of okay she's really hungry so she should probably wake up because school bus is gonna be coming for her as soon so she should have something to eat in the meantime um really don't have a lot of plans this episode or anything like that um we're working towards some stuff i mean the kids have to grow up I believe, if I remember correctly, she, Shahrazad, is only two days away from becoming a teenager. Her brother is four days away from becoming a teenager. And then once the two of them become teenagers, we are going to then uh, move the uh, the aging back down to uh, a normal time span. Just so we can get a little extra time before uh, Serafina grows into elderly now unfortunately um how, well, how many days was it for here yeah we're gonna a couple of days after uh the, i mean they kind of got a late start when it came to the kids uh so because uh, we were waiting for that stupid stupid day to come and it didn't happen well, i mean it happened but it didn't work out the way we wanted it to so they're actually a bit older for having kids their kids are going to be teenagers while they are elderly so uh I think it's time to really start focusing our attention on these kids. I think I'm going to abandon... <sighs> I'm going to abandon Serafina's aspiration only because we can't switch careers. The kids are... Why is she not going to school? Um, what? Go to school, kiddo. Like, go to school. Why was it wasn't allowed? It wasn't going to let me send her to school originally, but okay. And she's going to school in her pajamas. Okay, bye. Have fun getting made fun of for walking around in your pajamas, but whatever. What is? Oh, there's a festival coming up. Oh, she's gone to school, so I can't have her read about it. So, read about festival. So we're working towards getting the kids, uh, really kind of figure out their personalities. So we figure out who we are going to want to carry on the legacy, and also getting these two married. Uh, but the weather needs to clear up a little bit. I don't want snow. I want it to be a spring wedding. So I'm thinking they probably won't get married. They're not going to get married in this episode. That's for darn sure. I'm thinking maybe they'll get married in the next episode. I would like them to get married maybe before uh, Scheherazade becomes a teenager, which means... Yeah, they're going to have to get married in the next episode. Uh, come rain or shine or... Sleet or snow, they will get married in the next episode. GeekCon is in town. Oh, that would be a really good place to send uh, Scheherazade because she's kind of a nerd a little bit. Might be a good place to send the kids, but unfortunately, it's on a Tuesday from 10 to 4. They're going to be at school, so they're not going to be able to go. Oh, no, don't play in. I want him to scavenge for parts. Why not? Um, he has to get promoted sometime soon. Oh, but he also needs to go potty. Then you know what? He can actually eat those leftovers left behind by his daughter. Oh, now we need to throw it away. Actually, can I can I throw this away for him? Yes, I can. Okay, there you go. Did that for you, sir. Did that for you. Okay, does she work today? She works in six hours. He works in 44 minutes. So, hmm. Don't think that, uh, well, I mean, the, the, the salad is sitting there. We might be able to get to it. So, um, I guess that, um, hopefully the weather gets better. Today's forecast is sunny, but it's still cool. I, I was kind of hoping that, like, the snow would all melt and they'd be able to get married not in coldness. Hmm. Is there a way that I can... Oh, look f Like, what is the what? Oh, no, it's gonna rain the next couple of days. Ooh. I'm gonna have to pick out a... Oh, wait. A teacher caught Arthur looking at another student's test during class and sent him to the office. It was a, I'm sure it was a mistake, uh, effects of uh, empathy, 
Let him take the test. Let him retake the effects conflict. Let him retake that, yeah. Oh, but his manners decreased. Whoopsie! Um, yeah, I'm not gonna defend my kid for cheating. No way. So I guess I, I had looked at a couple of different locations for potentially their wedding um, from the gallery. So there was an outdoor location and there was also an indoor location. Looks like we're gonna be going with the indoor location because they're getting married next episode. Um, I, I think I already picked out their clothing. So, I mean, this episode is just kind of like a gap episode. The anticipation. Let the anticipation build. Because next episode is going to be a wedding. And the episode after, we're going to have a teenager in the house. Oh, my gosh. Um, oh, sir, you are late for work. So go to work. Go to work. There you go. What's she doing? Uh, hmm. She works in five hours. She's well rested. Girl, you can wake up. You are fine. Um, but you do need to eat. Is wait, Oh, it's this. Sherazad is sitting in her class in the assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. The teacher is looking right at her. But Sherazad can see how excited the kid next to her is to go up on stage. Should Sherazad take the chance or send the other kid? Take the chance, girl! Uh-oh, performance lost small. Uh-oh. Up to the front, Shahrazad goes, where the teacher hands her some symbols. Crash, bang, she makes so much noise, she doesn't even notice the teacher's cries for her to stop. Not until the principal snatches the symbols away. Oops. Aw, oh, man. We took a gamble, and it didn't work in our favor. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I broke it. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. I'm sorry, I broke it. Mm, I broke it. Dang it. I break stuff. Oops. <laughs> um, I think we can also... Oh, look, she's like, oh, man. Oh, man. I think we can also turn off the thermostat. All right, so... Totally broke that! Um, Let's see, should I should I attempt and fix it, or should I wait for the, my boo to come home? Because he's, like, the, de the designated... So, I mentioned this to someone in one of my other videos when they said how handy he was. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I, I kept having him fix things... Because he was expendable. If something bad happened, and he got electrocuted, and he died, or he caught on fire, it wasn't going to be such a big deal. Oh, we got bills to pay, and we've got money, so let's pay that rent. Alright, so, real quick, let's see. Okay, so one thing that I do like about this game is that I can select another aspiration like she is pretty far in this one but we're just not going to be able to do this she at this point is past like she's middle-aged at this point she's got her kids that she has to think about one of these kids is going to inherit her money she's doing really well at her job she's got to keep her job so let's see about have earned five thousand have earned twenty five thousand I mean, this one here is just all about money, but, I mean, we're not going to learn. We're not going to have that much. Definitely not going to have that much. Could we do a different... Shouldn't really be... Hmm, maybe nerd brain? Handiness skill? Own a rocket ship? Nope, we are not going to own a... Food! Hmm. That might be a good one because she's really good at food. Or family. Let's success become an adult, spend one thousand dollars on kids things. Come care, have a big family. No. Creativity. Musical genius. Practice music for six hours. Practice music for two hours. Huh. This should be a good one. This is the one we're gonna go with. So we're gonna change to this now. Play an instrument for one hour while inspired. Well, we're not quite inspired yet. But we will go write ourselves a jingle. Because let's see if we can maybe earn some money. By, and at the same time, getting our skill up here. So she's moving on to being a musical genius. Just so we can get some something out of this. The, uh, the aspiration rewards. I'm not sure if there's anything actual physical traits and potions. Hmm... See, I've not really dabbled in these so much. Hmm. I'll have to look at that later. She does have 4,000 points, so maybe maybe that'll be another thing in the next episode that I, I focus on. Or maybe I should focus on it now. Let's 
see. She could get some potions. Uh, always welcome. Cold. Gym rat. Heat. Where is something? Oh, wait. Could I buy this? Because she wants to look... <gasps> mm, she does want to look good on her wedding day. The most efficient diet beverage on the market. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Night Owl Speed Reader. Let's see. Is there anything in here about music? Beguiling. No, we don't want to be flirty. Carefree. Fertile. Great kisser. Hardly hungry. Professional slacker. I could have sworn that there was a thing in here for... Is there a thing for skilling up? Creative visionary. Higher chance of painting and writing masterpieces? No. Not marketable. Not speed reader. Speed cleaner. Observer. I could have sworn there was something in here about music. So it would be tr under traits. Gosh. I, s I know I'm probably looking over something here. Frugal, heat proof, ice proof, independence, shameless, steel bladder, carefree, never get tense, great kisser, hardly hungry, professional savant, that's it. Dang, I just spent money to get that other one, and I could have used it to become a savant. Oops, um, hmm. Sims with connections start all careers several levels ahead. Hmm. If I use a Renaissance Sim again in the future, that would be a good one to go with. Um, but we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and earn some points back up so we can get Savant again. Um, but and we're gonna we'll we'll drink that potion uh, before our wedding tomorrow. All right, so you just you do that, play an instrument. She's focused. She needs to be inspired. Oh, she has to get her... Oh, well, this is good. She has to get her piano skill level up to four before she can get another promotion. So this is good. There it is. It's at three already. We just gotta get to one more. Hmm. I know there's a way that she can write songs. I think that she... I think that she has to be higher on the piano before she can write actual songs and license them. So we're just gonna write some more jingles. So she works in three hours. Go, go, go. Do your thing. When do the kids... Kids are at school until three. So the kids will be coming home when she is on her way out. Um, you should write another jingle, girl. Stop talking to yourself and go write another jingle. Because money. Keep going, yes. I need to figure out a way to get inspired. Like, I, I thought that, like, playing on the keyboard would get her inspired. Works hard about one hour for her. You just keep going. You can take care of any needs that you need when you get home. That poor sink. That poor, poor sink. Oh, she didn't earn a... How is she over here with her daily tasks? 75% done. You know what? Write another jingle. Go. You have 17 minutes to write another jingle. Oh, apparently there's a, a dirty plate in here? Just leave the dirty plate and go write a jingle. I'm gonna put the dirty plate there, though, so we won't forget it. Work in nine minutes. Write your jingle like the wind. Jingle all the way. Ha <laughs> ha. Jingle all the way. You get it? You get it? I made a reference to a really bad movie just there. I mean, it's not a bad movie. Ooh, what's this? Shahrazad has returned home with a school project. Completing the project will grant school progress. Additional progress will be rewarded if the project is quick completed quickly. School's after the day. Uh... Shahrazad is one of the... Maybe she could try to... Dang it. Okay, so they both have... Okay, they both have school projects. So you need to go to work. And these kids, after I take care of their needs, are going to get school project -y. Okay, so you use that. What do you need? You don't need anything right now. So you can actually get to work right now. Actually, do your homework. And then we're going to place... His school project will go here. And he will work on, <sighs> work carefully on it. And she, she is going to go right into, oh wait, uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, let's, she's going to work carefully as well. 
<coughs> see, she's going to work on the project first, and then he's going to work on his homework. I'm like, she's going to work... Bleh. He's working on homework, and then the project. She's doing the opposite. Oh, hang on. I've got a... Oh, this is the part where I, I'm going to mute my microphone and hopefully remember to unmute it because I have to cough really badly. Pardon me. For saving you from hearing me coughing up a lung. <coughs> All right, so she is making a volcano, it appears. That is pretty cool. That, that could be a, good, a cute thumbnail like that. All right, so she is one smart little cookie, and then after he's done with his homework, he'll work on his project, and then she will work on her homework after that. So what is his project? It looks like he's got a solar system, and she's got a uh, a volcano. These school projects are pretty cool, I gotta admit. Oh, I have to cough again. I have to cough again, and I'm really sorry. You should thank me for sparing your ears, because it sounds really bad when I cough. <laughs> All right. You go, girl. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like when it's done. I don't know how long it's going to take to finish. What does she have here? Oh, that's right. She did a health post. Should I forgot about that. So she can research Simipedia on the computer. Is that like Wikipedia? Hmm? Hmm? So she has, she's got, she's got to get it to an A. Achieve a grade of A at school. Craft three emotional potions. Achieve ten mentality. I don't think she's going to get up there enough before she's a teenager to earn all that. Oopsie. I also don't know what to do when it comes to picking the aspirations in the long run. Because I could, I could randomize them. But then, like, if I get a sim here that, like, I feel like I should pick them based on what they've randomized so far. Like, I feel like she should go with something kind of uh, thoughtful or something maybe even kind of really related around writing because she is, after all, based off of uh, Scheherazade from A Thousand One Nights. Meanwhile, him over here, Mr. Actually, oh, wait. I want to get a picture of the two of them for the thumbnail. Like, the two of them working. Like this, maybe. If they would stop thinking of things. Could you stop? Th there we go. No! Girl, stop thinking so I can get a picture of your brother in the background. Could you stop thinking for one second? No! Stop thinking! Stop thinking for a hot second, please, and thank you. Oh, there we go. I think I got Okay, there's gotta be a thumbnail in there somewhere. <laughs> Title of episode. Stop thinking already! No, not that's not gonna be it. I mean, it might be it. So, um, with him, since he's based off of King Arthur, I'm thinking something maybe kind of more athletic, because uh, King Arthur was, like, a good swordsman and stuff like that, or maybe something with, like, leadership or something. Um, just, like, I, I wish they could choose from themselves, but that's not built into this particular game. Again, not like it was in The Sims 3. The ever ongoing laments of me playing Sims 4. Alright, if you guys could just like zoom forward a little bit more. Cause like you're taking forever to work on these projects. Like, go, 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 work, 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 do, do, do. When your father comes home, he's gonna fix that sink. Come on, kids. Come on. Come on. Come on. For a second, she was just idling there. Okay, I mean, that the project is, is working. It's going up. He got promoted! All right, he's promoted to Code Monkey. <gasps> Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code Monkey, go to job. I'm, I gotta get, like, copyright, like, struck for that. Because, look up Code Monkey. Just look up Code Monkey. I would play it here, but copyrights and YouTube. Um... <laughs> She is almost finished with her project, which is good. Um, he's pretty hungry, and it's also it is filthy in here. So let's throw that away. Let's mop up, and then let's get some food. Spo clear out the spoiled food. Um, we don't. Uh oh, we don't have any more actual food. 
put away and the the chef of the house is not currently home gosh these projects take all day all right he's gonna have to cook dinner even actually clean can we clean clean up that and clean oh he got he's gonna take the plate there um, fortunately, that means that we are gonna, I'm just gonna have to serve dinner. He'll serve, he'll serve Mac, mm, garden salad. I don't know how well his cooking skills are. So then when the kids are done with their projects, uh, oh good, they're focused, which means they might make it just a little bit faster, um, since they are focused. He can come in here and cook this salad. Look at him, did you see him kind of like saunter there in the background? Okay, he... I, I wanted to look at him and see what his cooking skill was at. See, his cooking skill is only level one. No, we're not going out. I'm getting married. Stop contacting me. All right, he really needs to pee. Like just, all right! Shahrazad's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Oh, man! It is? Really? What is... See, I don't know how the character values things work. I mean, she's super responsible, though. But she has very little emotional control. That's not good. All right. Put in... Oh, Start... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got mice. We got mice in the kids' room, I think. We got mice. Maybe? Are there kids' mice in... Yeah, there's mice. Oh, there's mice in the living room. Okay. So... So you need to contact the landlord. Yeah, that's right. Like, get over here. I'm cooking my dinner. My kids are here. Ooh, she's embarrassed from... Embarrassed at work. From work. Okay, weird. So what's she... Gonna... Oh, she's gonna come in here and she's gonna chat with her brother. Oh, your brother's working, kid! Man, she is exhausted, unfortunately. I can't wait to see. I want to see this start a chemical reaction. We're going to put it in our inventory right now. Oh, man. She's really tired. Put that in there. And then, actually, because we want to make sure you're good to go for work tomorrow. Um, for work for school. Take a shower. Um, but your parents are getting married tomorrow. Oh, no. We'll, we'll get married in the evening. They'll have everybody go and do their thing, and then they'll get married in the evening. Alright, he is done there, so we're gonna put in your inventory. Um, and then he will eat. And then he doesn't need to shower, but he does need to... Is he, like... <sighs> of course, here we go with the landlord again. Dude, your sister is in there. Your sister is showering, dude! Gross! Yeah, that's right! Your sister is in there! Hello! Ugh! So she doesn't need to go to the bathroom, but she does need to eat. Grab a serving. <coughs> okay. Like, you need to go. Ask to leave. Like, we'll take care of, uh, of his needs, and why is she just standing out in the hall? Like, you can come in the house, hun. In fact, we're gonna come in here and turn this off. There you go. And you know what? What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I was gonna say, let's write a jingle, but it, it's it's too late to do that. I'm not liking the clothes she has to wear for work, I gotta say, though. He... Why is she still... Okay, I was gonna say, why is she still in the shower? But she's not in the shower anymore. Okay, so she's gonna eat... He is finally going to go to the bathroom, and then he will go to sleep, and then she is going to eat, and then she will go to sleep. Did she finish her homework? Grade school homework. Do homework. Play somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh. Honey, can you wake up and fix this? I don't want to call the landlord again. She can clean stuff up. Clean all this up here. Is it hot? Is she hot or is she sick? Is she I couldn't. She was like, like, oh, wait, this. There's a rumor going around that there's a crazy party happening. No. 
Kid, go go to the bathroom. I like just told you to go to the bathroom. No, stop. No, fix it. F fix it. I don't want to call the landlord because the landlord sucks. Like, he's like, Mom, I gotta pee! Go! Oh my god! Okay, what do we got going on here? What do we got going on here? Yeah. No, kid, what are you doing? No! Go to the bathroom! Just go to the bathroom! Like, if you don't go to the bathroom, you're gonna go to the bathroom right where you're standing. She's doing pretty good. She's doing pretty good. She needs to go to sleep. Wait, I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Spend more time. Practice makes purpose. Uh, focus on different... Spend more time. Practice makes purpose. Because also, we're trying to get her. She's almost maxed out her responsibility, which is good. He's just going to keep on working on that until he's done with that. What is she doing? She's talking to herself again. Um, why don't you talk to yourself while eating something? Alright, he... He needs to take a shower. And then he can go to sleep. Because we want to make sure the kids are all good, because when they wake up in the morning, they're just going to go to school. Like, boom, like, out the door. Uh, Arthur is self-assured. Sims with this trait feel good about themselves and often experience extra confidence. Gosh, why can't you fix it? That means we have to complain to the landlord and have him come fix it. Curses. Ugh, I just kicked him out, but here he comes again. And having a second bathroom would be good. Because now, the, like, the kids seem to take really, really long showers. And, like, he needs to pee, but his son is in there, so he can't go in there. I'm just waiting for him to finish. So, actually, have, let me have him come sit here. No, don't go to bed. Because I don't want you to pee in bed. But your kid is taking forever. Like, come on, kid. Come on. You know what? You're clean enough. Get get out of there. You're clean enough. So now your dad can, so now he can actually go to the bathroom now. Okay. And she can tell him to peace out. Could you leave maybe in a second here? Ask to leave. Okay, bye. Put that away. Clean this up. Yeah, bye. Bye. Go. Leave. Bye. Looks all good here. Just calm. Don't come again too soon. Ha 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 ha. Well, if something breaks again, I'm calling you. Ha 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 ha. Watch this break after this. Or like, see, I can't, I no longer know if the stinky thing is on the floor because the bed and stuff is all over there where the stinky stuff usually is. So he's asleep. She's still up. I mean, she doesn't need to go to sleep yet, but it looks like she's going to head to sleep. Okay, that's fine. They can all go to sleep because they've got a big day ahead of them tomorrow. They're getting married in the morning. Why is she tense? Are you serious? Oh, my God. Wait, did that break again? No. See, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine. Right? We better all be fine. I uh, hope we're fine. Okay, so, pause. All right, so that means that it is going to be time to end this episode. I think this is a little bit of a shorter episode by comparison, or more in more on par with what it's supposed to be. I usually make the episodes a little bit longer anymore. But uh, we're going to end this uh, today. We're going to end this at the end of the day. I feel like, I'm pretty sure all the episodes are pretty much just one day of gameplay. But we're going to end here just because I have some prepping to do, because tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow is... The wedding of Serafina and Paolo. They're finally getting married. It's going to be a thing. And uh, I have to actually place the uh, the lot that they're going to use um, for the wedding. So that is what we have to look forward to in the next episode. So thank you for watching the Grim Legacy Challenge. And we'll see you when weddy bells are ringing. I just, call, I just called them, like, weddy bells, not wedding bells. So, um... See you tomorrow when wedding bells are ringing.